hello everyone so this is my first video ever and i am showing you guys how i made my heart shape cape for my service dog in training please note this is not a tutorial this is just me showing you how i made this cape but other than that i hope you guys enjoy this video and i might butt in here and there just to talk about a few things make sure you guys tell me what you think about the video because this is my first video ever so i want like a little feedback and yeah so video so in this clip here you can see me sewing the base of the cape it's just the heart shape nothing too fancy This part is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just cutting out pieces of Velcro and then I will sew them on later. I had the most trouble here with how weirdly shaped the velcro is. Um, I thought about re-sewing it on because it just looked very weird, but I just kept it. I didn't feel like re-sewing and wasting thread.
finish the cape and here's the final product tell me what you guys thought of this video and how the cape ended up turning out she spin good girl It's very colorful, so I don't know how much I would wear it because it's like I like to match my outfits. So, um, yeah, I mean, she, she seems fine with it. She's not uncomfortable with it. It is a bigger cape than my other one, so I thought she was gonna think it's a bit uncomfortable, but she actually likes it. Hi, chicken. That's a good girl. She works really nicely in it. Good girl. We're doing some training right now. Um, cause, yeah. It's actually the next day for me selling this. It was too dark yesterday to do anything, or like any photos. So I'm doing them right now. A little mini photo shoot. Hi, chicken. Good girl. Nikita, circle. And stop. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Stay. Come. Whoa, that was fast. Good girl. Yes. I don't know if you guys can see, but she's actually wagging her tail. She loves to work. Hi, chicken. Yes. There you go. That's like a minor tail wag. Good girl. She likes alerting a lot. Like, that's her favorite thing to do. Touch. Yes. Good girl. We're now we're working on her booping me without my hand because I want, instead of her pawing me to alert, for um, medical episodes, I want her to boop instead. So she has two different alerts. Paw. Yes. Good girl. That's for her behavioral interruptions. And then for actual scent trained medical alerts, she touches. Touch. Ah, ah. Yes. Touch. No. She gets them mixed up a lot, but that's okay. We're working on it still. She's only eight months old now. Leave it. Yes, good girl. But she does really good. Get it down. Yes. Very good. Okay, break. Yes. Kita, go get it. Bring it here. That's the strap. Oops. Bring it here. Oops. Get it. It's because I have food in my hand, so she's learned she's learned that. Um, like when we play ball, I taught her if I have food in my hand, she drops the ball. So that's what she's trying to do right now. Good girl. Heel. Yes. Good girl. Right now we're practicing our off-leash heels because when we go out in public, she gets a little excited and she tries to pull ahead of me. Ah, ah, back up. Yes. Good girl. And she'll try to like back up a little bit. Or not back up, sorry. Oops, sorry, mom wise. Good girl. I accidentally stepped on her paw. You ready to go inside? Break. Good girl, let's go inside. Um, we're gonna go inside real quick and I'll get back to you guys for the outro. If you guys watched this far in the video, I just wanted to say thank you so much. And please tell me what you thought of this and give me any feedback on what I should change about the video or what I should keep the same. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you once again and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!